very excited, but he needed to keep Clumsy busy. So he went to the forest to gather smurf roots. Guess who found him? Yeah. 
as he was about to fall into a strange vortex. Gargamel was right behind us, so we had no choice but to jump into a mysterious vortex which transported us to a strange land we had never seen before, New York City. Gargamel followed us, but we escaped on a strange machine called a taxi. We ended up in a huge mushroom where we met a very nice couple.
After finding the stargazer, it was time to return to Patrick's mushroom so I could make calculations for the blue moon potion. As I read the stars, Patrick kept the Smurfs entertained with strange music and dancing, while Grace and Smurfette had a nice girl chat. finished charting the stars, but I needed a magic book to complete the potion. Patrick told us about an antique bookstore that might have one, so we smurfed our way over. I've got something, lads! Great job, Gussie! Smurf up a plan, so I confronted Gargamel while the rest escaped to safety.
although they had promised not to come and save me, the Smurfs planned a rescue mission with the help of Patrick and Grace. Family is the most important thing in the world. Granny was able to turn the moon blue, opening the portal home. He went through and returned with the entire Smurf village. Everyone had come to help rescue me. The battle began, but Gargamel was too powerful now with his new dragon wand. Just when he was about to blast me and Patrick with the wand, guess who saved the day?